Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Metroid Prime. In the last episode, we were about to get destroyed by this giant she-goth. That's why I haven't unpaused yet. I'm gonna need to get out of the way. Oh, wasn't fast enough. Okay. Gosh, he's huge. Let's scan this thing, see what's going on here. New creatures entry. She-goth, supreme predator of Fenfrona Drifts. They're invulnerable to most beam weapons? What am I supposed to do? They have poor stamina. They hyperventilate when they use their breath attack, making their mouth vulnerable. And the underbelly is vulnerable to a concussive blast. Oh gosh, they're gonna try to f they're gonna try to trample us and they're gonna try to freeze us, apparently that's what I just said. Ooh gosh, avoid the freeze beam. Oh I see, I see. After it does the ice attack, you shoot missiles at its face. Because its face becomes a weak point after it does that. That's what it, that's what that little thing just said. Can we just shoot the face or do we use missiles? I not doing a whole lot of damage. Ah! Wait a minute. Okay, it just took damage just then. What happened? Who's shooting it through? I don't think shooting it does much. I remember something about this boss, like, like saving up your energy and like storing it and then crystals on its back. Isn't that what it just talked about? Oh crap! All right, shoot him in the face. Keep shooting him in the face, I guess. Well, that's weird. It doesn't be doing a lot of damage, but it's doing a little bit, like it's enough that we might be able to take him out like this. It's kind of annoying. What's going on now? It's moving around a lot. Oh crap! Wow! I didn't want a close up of you, dude. Dude, I'm down to 21 missiles. What's going on here? Is his health going back up? What in the world? Maybe I need to read the scanner entry again or something. That's weird. Let's try a charge beam. No? Okay, um... Hey, you wanna back up there? You're a little close, I think. This also seems to be doing a whole lot of damage to it. Whoa, did it just... What?! Um... It's... Oh! Psh. Oh my god! <laughs> that whole fight, I was looking at my health bar thinking it was his. Holy crap, you're kidding me. I was like, why, why am I not doing any damage? Oh man, I'm gonna watch that video and just be like, oh, yeah, there's his health bar. I was looking at mine the whole time. Y'all probably like, what the heck is he talking about? All right, what is this nonsense? Wave beam. That sounds cool. Let's get it. This <laughs> is so stupid now. Oh my gosh. I was automatically like looked up at my health bar. I don't know where his was. I couldn't. I didn't see it. Wave beam acquired. All right. Press C stick to the right. Okay. And we can open purple doors now. This is cool. Ooh, I'm all purple. Ooh, look at that. Can we charge it? Yeah, check it out. Ooh, look at that. Oh, that's neat. Sweet. Alright, now there's gotta be something interesting in this room. Take a look at the map here. Anything going on back here? No? What about in the corners? Where those enemies popped out? Nothing happened in here? That's kind of surprising. I figured that they would put something in, in the room where the boss was. Huh. Apparently the, those boxes had more health in them, just in case you, like, weren't smart enough to read the entry and, like, oh, like, we gotta open it with, with, the, wave, with the wave beam. Alright, sweet! Oh, we got, got two beams now. How about that? Well, gosh, the walk back's gonna be a lot easier, isn't it? We already destroyed all the stuff there. If I could get up, that'd be nice. There we go. I wonder if jumping up there would do anything for us. No, it didn't do anything. Alright, I didn't think it would, but... You know, nothing hurts to try stuff in this game. And we roll through. We're back here again. Ooh, I remember this now. We can break these guys. We can destroy them with the uh, wave beam. So no more dodging those guys. Just take a pot shot at them. They're gone. I believe a single charge beam will take them out, too. Anyway, let's, uh, let's drop down. Again, we won't get hurt by the fall. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that if you charge your beam, they'll get sucked towards you. I'm fairly sure that we don't want that. We just want to charge it long enough to destroy them. And then, if they're close to us, I guess that just makes it easier to aim, you know? But if you don't, if you're worried about them getting, getting too close to you and, like, doing damage because you're sucking them in, just shoot them from afar with a couple of a standard beam, and don't charge. Can't just making bad sounds, I don't like the way it's, I don't like that, that uh, is acting. I'm headed straight for the save room now, guys. Once you get a major power up like the wave beam, or you. Oh wow, we're underwater. I didn't realize the water was this deep here. 
Wow. Ah, oh, I can't really move. The physics are all weird. Physics are all weird. Now we got Shigoths in this place. <sighs> Use a missile, sorry. Ah, oh, get out of here. I just killed your I just killed your mama. Your mama's dead. You're an orphan Shigoth now. Alright, give me some health or something. Hey, either give me health or disappear. Jesus. Alright, can I break the Isra thing? Mm, doesn't look like it. Alright, let's head in here to the save room. Hit up that save chamber. Anyway, I'm gonna stop recording now. And so I'll see you guys later.